Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'll be traveling to London next week. So instead of meal prep video, I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day video. And since it's December, I'm gonna share fun Christmassy meal ideas. And since you have liked my high protein meal ideas, these meals will also get you 100 grams of protein per day. It is Saturday now, so my boyfriend will also have breakfast with me. So we're making Santa pancakes. Um, just mashing two bananas. Then I'm adding four eggs. And then I just stir to combine. Then I'll add two scoops of protein powder, but you could also use any flour you like. Oat flour, for example, works very well too. Then I also like to add some cinnamon. Then I make two big pancakes and cook them on a lightly greased pan for about five minutes on each side. Now that the pancakes have cooled down a little bit, we'll start adding the decorations. We use strawberries to make the Santa's hat. And then we use Greek yogurt to make the beard. And then we'll use dark chocolate chips for the eyes and the mouth. And here are the ready Santa pancakes. He said that my Santa looks like Santa before Christmas and his is Santa after Christmas. For lunch, we're making a Christmas tree shaped charcuterie board. I cut these heart shaped pieces of mozzarella by using a cookie cutter. And then I'm adding some green grapes. And then I'm adding some turkey salami. And green olives and some grape tomatoes and here is the ready charcuterie christmas tree it turned out so good this would also be a fun appetizer idea for a christmas party and then we served it with some green free bread for a snack, I'm making a single serving gingerbread snack bite or bowl, whatever you want to call it. So I'm first adding one tablespoon of unsweetened peanut butter into a bowl. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of maple syrup and two tablespoons of oat flour. You could also use almond flour. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of milk. And lastly, one quarter teaspoon of gingerbread spice. And then I just stir until everything is combined. Then you should have this kind of thick mixture. And then I just roll it into a bowl. Then you can roll it in crushed gingerbread cookies. And here is the ready gingerbread snack bite. We're making Christmassy pizzas for dinner. I already posted one Christmas pizza video on Instagram and it has over 20 million views. Um, but today we're making something a bit different and higher in protein. So I have here a regular round shaped pizza crust. Now I'm just gonna cut a hole to the middle so it will be like a Christmas wreath. So 
So I'm gonna mark with this bow where I want to cut. Or maybe I can even cut it with this, yes. Hopefully it's in the center. Pretty good. And it's a little bit stuck on the parchment paper. Now I'm getting dark. So I'm just removing the middle part. And then you can use the middle part to make a mini pizza. This pizza dough rose really nicely, so I bet it will be super fluffy. I'm adding my gluten-free pizza crust recipe that I used here to the description box so you can try it out. So first, I'm just adding some tomato sauce. Next, I'm gonna add some shredded chicken that I made. I just mixed it with pesto to add some flavor and to also make it green. And then I'm adding fresh basil for more green color. Then I'll add some red bell pepper and some grape tomatoes. You could also use cherry tomatoes. And lastly, I'm just adding some crumbled feta on top. Then I'll just bake the pizza at 220 Celsius degrees for 30 in Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Here is the ready pizza. I like to serve it with arugula, which also makes it look more like a Christmas tree. And here is the ready Christmas wreath pizza. It turned out so good. I always need something sweet after dinner, so we're gonna make hot chocolate for dessert. Those were all the meals I had today, and as always, the written recipes are in the description box. Hope you tried the recipes! Enjoy!